April 27, 2015 from the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It was Game 5 from the 2015 NBA Playoff Round 1 matchup between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Chicago Bulls. And the Bulls were up 3-0 and they weren't able to sweep the Bucks in Milwaukee, but now in Chicago they were looking to end this one in 5 on their home court. But the Bucks had other ideas. The Bulls were up 22-16 in the first quarter. But then the Bucks responded. Henson got a shot. Then Middleton with a three and then a layup. And they took the lead 23-22 heading into the second quarter. So then in the second quarter, it was a tight game back and forth between these two teams. And in the closing minute, Paul Gasol hit an 18-footer to make it a one-point game. But then Michael Carter-Williams hit an 8-footer. And now it was 52-49 as the Bucks led by three at halftime. So then in the third, it remained tight. But with seven seconds left, Jared Dudley hit a three-pointer to put Milwaukee up by six. Then in the fourth quarter, it still remained a tight game, but the Bulls just weren't able to close the gap as the Bucks would keep them at an arm's length. And then in the final 30 seconds, they were up by six. They, Chris Middleton drew a foul, and he hit both shots. That put them up by eight at 94-88. The Bulls wouldn't be able to hit another shot after that. So they attempted a couple of short shots to try to get on the board, and a three-pointer, none of them dropped, and the game came to a close. As the Bucks remain alive, they survived to play another day. As they're forcing Game 6 back in Milwaukee, as the Bulls just haven't been able to close out this series. Now two games where they had a chance to do so. So Milwaukee wins this one. And in this game for the Bucks, three of their five starters scored in double digits. And one of their starters was one point shy of having a double-double. And they also had Mayo come off the bench for double digits as well. And Henson almost had a double-double off the bench if he would have hit another bucket. Because Henson had eight points, 14 rebounds, one assist, one steal, and one block off the bench. Mayo, 10 points off the bench with two rebounds, four assists, and a block. Jared Dudley off the bench with five points, one rebound, two steals, and a block. And for the starters, Michael Carter-Williams, 22 points, eight rebounds, nine assists, one steal, and three blocks. This is two boards and an assist shy of a triple-double from Michael Carter-Williams. Chris Middleton had 21 points, four rebounds, two assists, and four steals in the game. And Giannis Antetokounmpo had 11 points, three rebounds, two assists, and four blocks in the game. And Zaza Pachuli... Pachulia, he had 9 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals in the game. And for the Bulls, Paul Gasol had 25 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. A double-double for Paul. 3 of the 5 starters had double-doubles for the Bulls. Joachim Noah had 10 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal, and 3 blocks. Jimmy Butler, 20 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, 4 steals, and a block in Derrick Rose, 13 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. And Taj Gibson off the bench for 12 points, 3 rebounds, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. And in this game for Milwaukee, they were perfect from the free throw line, hitting all 16 shots they took. Not a lot of shots, but they hit them all. The Bulls, 22 of 29 for a percentage of 75.9 from the foul line. And the Bucks actually won the battle of the boards, 48-45. to 45. And they also had two more steals and one more block. A lot of blocks in the game, 21 blocks total, 11 for Milwaukee, 10 for Chicago. They had 10 steals versus 8 for Chicago. And the Bulls had one more assist, 22-21. But from the field, the Bucks shot 42.4% versus just 34.4% for Chicago. So the Bucks really, you know, it was tight early on, but really in that third quarter they were able to get the lead, and once they got the lead in the third, they were able to hold on to it and able to close it out in the fourth as they matched the Bulls point for point in that fourth quarter. A lot of defense, not much scoring, as the two teams only combined for 36 in the fourth quarter. But the Bucks win. In Game 5, Force in Game 6. And the final score in Game 5, Milwaukee 94, Chicago 88.